Hello, my name is Alex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to check for corrupt or conflicting CC and similar issues using the Sims 3 dashboard. So you're just going to go ahead and click on this. And I know this is the I know this is the installer, but I haven't been able to find the launcher within my own apps for whatever reason. So I just do it like that. It takes me right here. Now what you do is you're going to hit File, Scan Folder. And I have set up a little test folder for us to use. So we'll just go in here. Okay. And then hit OK. Click on, and then once everything's loaded into here, you'll see that it lists the object that is not the issue so it'll just say object and then nearby you'll see conflicts with and you'll see that it'll match the other highlighted object um you can also see here it's marking this as a sims 3 pack so that's something that i'm going to have to take out if i wanted to what i can do here is i can hit select action and disable packages what disable packages will do is that it makes the package file completely useless but you still get to have the package so you can have the the name of the file in there in case you want to go online and search for it again or you can hit delete packages which will permanently delete it from your computer this does not send it into your recycle bin if i'm i'm almost positive it doesn't i'm not 100 sure because my recycle bin often has like three thousand things in it <laughs> But I'm pretty sure this just permanently deletes it from your computer. But either way, it still will re render the package file useless. So be very cautious when choosing to use this. Um, some other useful things that this will do here, as it says, it's going to let you know if you have some 2 packs, some 4 packs, duplicates, corruptions, and then it'll let you know if, if a package file is empty or disabled. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Um, if you need, to, if you have any questions or anything, just comment below and let me know.